to the House of Fins. Today, we're going to talk about captive breeding of saltwater fish. And after, I'll show off some of the really cool captive bred fish that we have in stock right now. Replicating the conditions needed to breed saltwater animals in captivity is a very difficult task. However, several organizations are making leaps and bounds at this very challenge in an effort to make our great hobby more sustainable. One of these such companies is Biota. With four facilities around the globe, they breed a new species of fish every month on average, bringing their total to 100 species. Everyone knows about the assortment of clownfish and gobies that have been bred in captivity. Today, we're going to show you some of the very cool breakthroughs that are coming out of these facilities. All right, so the fish that I'm going to show you first is also the fish that I want to show you the most. This is the Dijongi Basslet. This fish was recently discovered in Cuba in 2010. These guys are really peaceful and shy, a great reef safe fish. They like caves, so in your reef tank, make sure you have a couple caves in there. Uh, and these guys also only breed seasonally. Because these guys only breed seasonally, their numbers are very limited. Biota is the only organization that is actively distributing them throughout the U.S. The Aurora Antheus is a really rare species. All the ones we have in here right now are currently females. The really cool thing about Antheus is that they're all born female, and a few dominant specimens will hermaphroditically convert to males. I'm happy to show you the captive bred yellow tangs. A staple in the hobby, the yellow tang is one of the most frequently purchased fish. The Barbonia Santheus was originally collected from staggering depths of 300 to 1,000 feet. Wild caught specimens would commonly suffer from difficulties involving their swim bladder organs, making captive bred ones a perfect alternative. Lookdowns are a large fish that swim the open waters of the ocean. Preparing the breeding fish for optimal conditions is the most difficult part of breeding these fish. All right, everyone, I get it. Everybody wants a mandarin, but everyone's freaked out about the fact that they don't eat without a ready supply of copepods. Fear no more. I bring you the captive bred mandarin, actively eating frozen foods.
These fish need no introduction, but I'm gonna give them one anyway. These are seahorses. Specifically, these are the Erectus seahorses. The Erectus seahorse in particular is a U.S. native species. This species in particular also has colors that become more pronounced when they mature. They also can produce from anywhere from 50 to 500 fry. All right, last but most certainly not least, I bring you the captive bred coral beauty angelfish. Angelfish are some of the most popular fish in the hobby. And now it's great that we finally get these guys a part of the sustainable breeding program. Thank you for tuning in to see what's new at the House of Fins. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and to hit the like button.